What's up guys, welcome back to The Educated Barfly. Today, uh, I thought I'd do a home bar basics episode for you on flaming a peel. Uh, and we're gonna do it with orange because that's mainly the peel that you flame. Um, but somebody actually just recently asked me why I don't flame my Negroni peel. And then we also shot a Boulevardier episode that a lot of people have been asking me for. And when we did the flame peel on that one, um, the flame was a little bit pathetic. And the reason why it was a little bit path pathetic was because the orange was just a little bit overripe. And so you can tell when an orange is overripe because the skin won't have as many ridges. So right here, I don't know if you can tell, but there are a lot of ridges and it's like a very firm skin, which means that it's just perfectly ripe. But the riper it gets, these ridges will start to um, kind of even out and become smoother and the fruit will obviously become squishier and so it's a lot harder to get a flame. And so the flame was fine for the cocktail, you know, it flamed fine, but you didn't really see it on the video and I almost wanted to reshoot that episode because we didn't do it. But instead I just thought I would do a um, home bar basics for you. So before we get into actually flaming the peel, uh, I just wanted to say, talk a little bit about uh, when you flame a peel. The thing is, is that there are certain cocktails that were developed for a flamed peel. The purpose of flaming a peel is to basically pass the orange oil through fire to caramelize it as it goes on top of a cocktail. Um, and you do that to add a sort of a burnt orange flavor. It's really nice to the cocktail. It gives it that nice kind of burnt orange flavor, but you're, you're kind of burning and caramelizing the oil that comes off the peel as opposed to any of the citric acid in the fruit. Um, and a lot of cocktails you can just do, like if you want to do a flamed, like a flamed peel on your Negroni, you can. I don't tend to do it because I like a fresh orange flavor for a Negroni, but for a Boulevardier, the flamed peel is pretty awesome and I've been doing them for Boulevardiers for a long ass time, so I usually do a flamed peel. All right, let's get into fl actually flaming the peel. First thing you're gonna do is pull a nice peel off of a orange. You wanna make sure to get an, a peeler that actually will get a little bit of the pith because you want, it's like this, the, you know what? I'm gonna get a knife, I'm gonna show you guys something. We're gonna flame this peel two ways. And the reason why is because when, the thicker the peel that you pull, the more robust the flame will be. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a knife and we're just gonna cut a disc off this orange. You see, I got like a good amount of the pith and it's a thick slice of orange. And then I'm also going to t pull a peel. Now, if you're gonna pull a peel, you wanna make sure that the peeler that you're using is sharp enough to get a little bit of that pith on the peel because you're gonna get a better flame. Um, but you see, when I pull a peel, there's gonna be less pith. And when you cut a disc, you're gonna have a little bit more pith. The second thing that you wanna consider is uh, your flame source. I see a lot of bartenders using uh, lighters. I've said this in the Boulevardier, Boulevardier episode, I'm gonna say it again. Do not use a lighter because when you click that lighter on, the flame source is from butane, fuel. And when you pass the, the oil through the peel, you're actually going to get butane on your cocktail. You don't want to do that. You don't want to drink butane and you don't want that flavor profile in your cocktail. Today we're using a glass of water because I'm not actually doing a cocktail tutorial. So I like to use matches. The other thing is that you want to let the match sit lit for a couple of seconds so that it burns off most of the sulfur so that you don't get a sulfur flavor onto your cocktail. All right, cool. Now we're going to show you the differences of flaming. So we're going to pull that, let it burn for a second. Make sure you get it good. We're going to flame the disc now. I like to prime the peel with fire and then flame it. Now we're gonna flame the peel. The peel has got less pith and is a lot thinner. So, now you wanna make sure that you pick the end of the flame, uh, pick the end of the peel that has the most pith and is a little bit thicker. As you can see, it's flaming but it's a lot less. It wasn't that big fireball that I got because you need a little bit more pith for a good flame. So if you pull a big peel, just make sure that you kind of dig down into that pith 
and you get a lot more of it so that you got a thicker peel, which means more oil, which means more caramelization. And in this particular case, you don't really have to worry about the bitterness uh, being trans ported to your cocktail because you're, you're really just gonna be burning a lot of that stuff off and it's going to be that burnt orange flavor that you're after. So thanks for joining me on Home Bar Basics and I'll see you on the next tutorial.